for a number of different reasons, you might need to determine a vector that's normal or orthogonal to a plane simply by looking at the equation of a plane. So let me show you how to do that. It's actually quite quite straightforward. Um, so here's our, our general equation. Or what is, this is actually what's called standard form for the equation of a plane right here. And the coefficient that's in front of the x, the y, and the z, or the x minus x naught, y minus y naught, and z minus z naught, this a, b, c is actually your normal vector or one of the normal vectors to the plane. So if you write that as a vector a, b, c, that will be one of the vectors that's orthogonal to your plane. So let's do an example here. Here you've got negative 2 times x plus 5 plus 3 times y minus 1 minus z equals 0. So can we look at this and extract what a vector normal to our plane would be? Hopefully we can. Um, we'll call it vector n. This will be the vector negative 2 comma 3 comma negative 1. Now where did I get those numbers from? From right here, here, and the coefficient of z because it's minus z will take that to be negative 1 times z. So this would be our vector that's orthogonal to our plane. If your uh, equation is written in what's called general form, it's, it's just as easy. If you have ax plus by plus cz equals d, if those terms in standard form are rearranged, it's not any, any more difficult. It's still the coefficient of x, the coefficient of y, and the coefficient of z. You still have your a, b, c. So let's finish with a, an example in general form. Let's say the equation of our plane is 7x minus y plus 2z equals 13. Can you look at that and extract what the normal vector to the plane would be? Hopefully you can. I think it would be the vector 7 comma negative 1 comma 2. So really you just look at the coefficients of x, y, and z and that will be one of the vectors that's normal to your plane. And any other vector that's normal to the plane is simply going to be a scalar multiple of this vector here that you found. So any scalar multiple of negative 2, 3, 1 such as negative 4, 6, negative 2, for example, that will also be a normal vector to the plane. Um, you can have any scalar multiple. It can be shorter, longer, uh, negative, which will change its direction in reverse. Um, however you want to say it, um, all normal vectors to your plane will have to be a scalar multiple of these normal vectors here that you found.